good morning good morning students welcome back to the computer classes uh, we have studied about program in scratch a well defined set of instructions written in a computer language that directs the computer to perform a specific task is called a program uh, we were coding with the scratch and what is scratch scratch is a programming language that makes it easy to create your own interactive stories and we have seen about sprite a sprite is a graphical animated image that a user can interact with and it moves around the stage different spi sprites that are that means pictures or images perform actions in the project script area script area is the place where you write the script for the sprite you can drag decide commands to the script area and the drag commands will become part of your program or script there is a stage over there the stage is the area where the sprite moves and uh, interface of the stage is the background on which the animation and other actions take place block palettes all possible type of commands that you could write on the script is called block palette algorithm an algorithm is the step by step process of solving a problem and it gives an ordered sequence of instructions that provide solution to a problem and pseudo code pseudo code is an english like representation of a program which is independent of any computer language and the pseudo code is a way of describing an algorithm or an outline of a program that can be easily converted to a program instruction in a specific language flowchart a flowchart is a pictorial representation of an algorithm a flowchart uses different shapes to represent different types of logics and steps in an algorithm which indicates the sequence in which the steps are to be followed and we want to see about the two scratch programs today and these are the codes written in a uh, scratch to offline editor to draw a star and to rotate that star and to change the pen color so that you will get the desired result on the screen the chords are there uh, just when clicked it will clear the screen and the mouse will uh, the sprite will point in direction 90 degrees and there comes a message i'm going to draw a circle it will stand there for 2 seconds and in a, then it will move to the x and the y coordinate the x coordinate it will be plus 32 and the y coordinate it will be plus 120 130 and the repeat option comes over there the repeat file moves 75 steps and turn 145 degrees the that loop the repeat file loop that is a loop which draws a triangle and to repeat it 120 times means and that to uh, turning 3 degrees that means between two stars it will be turning 3 degrees and uh, it will move another 7 steps also over there after completing that the pen is up and uh, it goes to another x coordinate minus 52 and minus 35 so that uh, the bigger star inside it is being drawn with and there i have changed the color of the pen after drawing uh, 180 steps the length of the uh, side of one tri uh, star is uh, 180 steps and after that it is being uh, changed by 30 degrees so that the colorful uh, star which is being drawn will be on the screen you can uh, click on the flag 
or uh, you can just uh, uh, make make the screen full and just click on the flag so that it starts working the stars are being drawn in circle and another big star is being drawn on the center of the stars drawn in circle okay that's the program and stopping it and I am dragging it back the next program is about um, a fish game so that look here the lot of fishes are there jelly fishes are there and uh, the now the shark is eating the fish up and if it touches the jellyfish it will lose points okay and when it starts eating the fishes the shark becomes bigger and when it gets up to the size of a 90 size it reduces and starts now the number of fishes in the game have reduced and how this is being done this is the codes are there in the background I just want to keep your curiosity uh, in this game uh, we have created a shark the shark 2 and uh, the small fishes are there I have reduced the size of the fishes and the clowns are being made and uh, it is being programmed in such a manner that uh, when it eats the fishes its size and the color changes and when the fish comes to its mouth it starts chewing okay uh, these are being written over there and when the size of the fish the shark fish is more than 100 percentage it shrinks to a small fish okay and various commands are being written so that now you have seen that it has uh, reduced its size now after eating the fish it will start growing and the color also will change and four backdrops are being given under two underground back uh, under underground under ocean backgrounds and uh, when it touches uh, the jellyfish it will lose points and when it eats fishes it will get one point up look I will check whether look how many points it lost and the jellyfish program is being, when it touches it it will wait for one minute and it will change the color the jellyfish color will change it will reduce this it will reduce the uh, points by when he eats the fishes it will get only one point and when it touches the jellyfish it will lose five points okay uh, the variables are being set in such a manner that uh, the score rises and we will see how it works the big shark fish need to move according to the movement of the mouse the first condition you have to uh, write a program in such a manner that the jelly, uh, the big shark shark fish, fish need to move according to the movement of the mouse you must clone the small fish and uh, uh, the changes must be made to the made to the you must give uh, effects to the 
shark so that it starts eating the fish. It wide opens its mouth and starts chewing and eating it. We will see how the codes are being written for each and uh, there are a number of costumes for the small, small fish. The clones of the small fish need to move random on the screen. And uh, well, when it touches the jellyfish, it must have entirely different sound. And then the score must be down by uh, minus 5. And this is an interesting game. Okay. Now I will show you the these are the these are the commands which has been written for the shark please note it down and uh, go and see the changes when you change it you need to experiment with each and every command don't be a prototype and uh, you could see how it works look the when clicked set size to 40 percentage forever point towards mouse pointer and if the distance of the mouse pointer is less than five then move four steps that means the 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 shark will be moving in the uh, uh, in the direction of the mouse pointer and it helps you to catch the fishes and there are two uh, con uh, events happening when I when the shark touching fish and the sh uh, the jellyfish touching the shark, two, event, two, two, two such things are there. And now the game is on. You'll get a lot of points. But when you touch the jellyfish, You'll, it will reduce the points and there is a bang sound look the uh, the points are reducing okay the color codes are changing this is how uh, the game is being planned I will show all the codes. So the, this is the code for the fish. This is the code for the jellyfish. And uh, when the events all happen, just like touching the fish, okay. You must avoid the jellyfish, and you must go for the fishes and the and the when the fish is be, uh, the shark is being beyond one uh, size the possibility of touching the jellyfish is very high that means when uh, the the shark has grown beyond a size there's a possibility of touching the jellyfish very frequent okay this is the manner you could create an interesting game. Okay, now I am stopping it, and you must you must find how to uh, create it with and how the codes work. I am stopping it, and just for your your convenience, you can write down the commands or the code block palettes so that the Fisher starts swimming in the underwater 
backgrounds and the shark starts eating Now look at the at the programs written for the shark. Is that a game interesting? So now it is time for you to experiment with the various possibilities uh, in it, and you can create a game for for yourself. Let it be your first venture and hope you will be able to create much more exciting uh, new new ventures with the many of the ideas which are being given in the scratch programming site. So this is the manner in which you have to create uh...